A new company called NewsGuard says that they can protect you from fake news. But the corporations funding that group have real different motives. This is an amazing story. Laid out for us. I, this is such an extraordinary story. I go, really, this is happening in 2020. Go ahead. Well, you actually, it, it starts with a very well-respected guy, Steve Brill, started Court TV, yeah. was, a, was a great lawyer. Uh, Des, I, des, I wouldn't go that far, but de, anyway. de, Decides he wants to help fight fake news, you know, very yeah. noble cause. And so he says, well, in order to fight fake news and create NewsGuard, I'm going to need some money. So he goes to this group called Publicus Group. And it turns out that Publicus Group is funded in part, a lot of their money, uh, billions of dollars, is coming from healthcare companies, from pharmaceutical companies. The very companies that control the corporate media have now paid in a couple million dollars to help Mr. Brill found this NewsGuard uh, app plugin, I guess, for your, for your browser. That's now going to tell you when you go to a website, oh, NewsGuard says this is fake or NewsGuard says this is a okay. green light. We approve of what's on this Let site. Let me comment two things about what you just said. Brill has always been a corporate lawyer. He's never done anything for consumers. I mean, really, it, it, whatever he wants to sell, the guy is center of corporate America. These are the people that Mr. Brill and this company went to to try to get funding for this. Follow me. L Eli Lilly, Abbott, Roche, AstraZeneca, GlaxoSmithKline. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lineup <laughs> of the worst offenders of defective pharmaceuticals in the country. Now, what is going to happen is when we do a story like this, if you were to go to NewsGuard, right? NewsGuard would tell you, don't go to that site because they're telling stories that are fake news. This is not fake news. This is absolutely, right. fortunately, you had a great writer that, that, that ha that's handling this, uh, this story who's done all the investigation. And he says, look, if you, believe the, if you believe the ratings that NewsGuard gives, then you're kidding yourselves into under, you're, you're kidding yourselves about the truth of the matter. Well, well NewsGuard has already rated uh, RT, they, they say RT is fake news. They say uh, Daily Coast is fake news, according to really? NewsGuard. Uh, yeah. Breitbart, Daily Caller. So it's it's left, it's right. It's everything that doesn't fit into NewsGuard's narrative. Which is pro-corporation. Right, of what news is. If it's yeah. not New York Times or Washington Post, it's not real. Right. But right now, investigative journalism is not taking place at these traditional media outlets. It's taking place with these independent outlets that NewsGuard says sorry, you're fake. Yeah, if it's not corporate, if it's not pro-pharmaceutical, uh, if it's not pro-chemical, uh, pro, uh, if it's not pro-Wall Street, then it's fake news. Now, what about the idiot who says, yeah, I'm going to use this? Yeah. What about the idiot who says, I'm going to use Snopes? Snopes is the same thing. You've got some cat with a clear agenda that's saying, don't go to this site because they're not telling the truth. No, it's don't go to this site because they're saying things that are scaring the bejesus out of us because the corporate backing on this is deplorable. So if you want to believe Pfizer or you want to believe an independent source, they're saying, oh, you can believe Pfizer, Dow Chemical, DuPont, Boeing, McDonnell Douglas. You can believe them, don't, but don't believe that side. Well, see, with, with Snopes, I disagree with this author's assessment of them. I, I, I think okay. that that's, that's inaccurate what he said about them. But with the NewsGuard, this is absolutely, the funding has been traced. You see it in the documents. This group got money from a group that gets their money from these healthcare yeah, which hasn't been proven by Snopes. But who wants an organization like Snopes making that decision for you, right? The farmer bro... Martin Shkreli has been accused of price fixing in a new lawsuit. Farron, what's the new lawsuit about? Uh, you know, this guy's always in the news about doing awful right. things. That's how we can know that that's a big story. He, he, he truly is. And, you know, Shkreli is currently serving time in prison for fraud. And a lot of people don't realize that. They think he actually went to jail for, you know, increasing the drug price a, a couple hundred thousand or a thousand percent in a single day. He's in prison right now for securities fraud. He, he ripped off wealthy people. But this new lawsuit uh, from the FEC and the New York Attorney General says, okay, we, we actually finally looked into your Daraprim price increase, and we think we've got a price-fixing case against you because you locked out the generic, you refused to let them come to market, 
That's what this lawsuit is saying. A and very a very common thing for all of the companies. Well, exactly. That's that's the punchline of all yeah. of this. Is that yeah, Shkreli's a bad bad person, but Shkreli, aside from the securities fraud, hasn't done a <laughs> single thing that every other drug company in this country right. doesn't do on a regular basis. Okay, you, we've done so many stories on price price fixing where. I don't care what the company is, whether you're talking about Merck, whether you're talking about Johnson & Johnson, all of them, their, their price gouging is uncontrollable. Now, we had a chance to do something about it, if you remember last, uh, well, I guess it was during the Obama administration, where we were going to make it to where we could import from places like Canada, right? right? right. And then Cory Booker led the charge against that, and so we're stuck with the same kind of what is it? You've seen, you've seen situations of 10,000% markup on some of these drugs, right? right? The drug we're talking about, I think, was, uh, was $7, and now it's like $750. Yeah. The, Scre the Screlly drug, right? Right, right, right. The uh, uh, Daraprim. And again, though, actually, just at the beginning of this year, so we're talking four and a half weeks ago, you had every major drug company go ahead and announce their price hikes for 2020. There was no reason to do this. Some of these drugs had been on the market for 25 or more years. They just wanted to make more money off it. And that's what Shkreli did. It's dirty, it's deceitful, but, but, but the everybody big else. Right, right. We, we can pick on this guy because. He's in jail. Oh, yeah, look, he's the scapegoat for the pharmaceutical industry. He wasn't one of the boys. Yeah. He came in with lots of money, bought a company, said, I'm going to do what everybody else is doing. And he gets popped for it. Meanwhile, your CEOs of Pfizer and Merck and Eli Lilly, they're still Every going day. out. In their, Every day. It, it's insane. They do it all the time. They just did it earlier this year. But Shkreli's the only one who gets popped for yeah, it. Yeah, that's par for the course. Every year, one million hernia surgeries are performed in the United States. Unfortunately, some mesh implants that are used in these surgeries have caused complications, including infection and organ damage that led to surgeries to correct those problems. If this has happened to you, learn more about the hernia mesh lawsuit by going online to hernia.law or call us for a free consultation about your legal rights.